regain control of the Lost Voyager 2 probe after a heartbeat signal was picked up. Contact with the spacecraft. In the cold, dark expanse beyond Neptune, more than 12 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 is still sending signals, faint, slow, but astonishing in what they carry. Decades after its launch in 1977, Voyager 2 continues to deliver groundbreaking data from the most remote reaches of the solar system. And now, as it crosses into the uncharted boundary between the solar system and interstellar space, it has detected something that has electrified astrophysicists and planetary scientists across the globe. The spacecraft has picked up an unexpected shift in plasma density, electromagnetic waves, and energetic particles that suggest it is experiencing the edge of the sun's influence in a way no human-made object has ever directly measured before. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. This boundary, known as the heliopause, marks the point where the solar wind, charged particles streaming out from the sun, can no longer push against the opposing pressure of the interstellar medium. Voyager 2, following its own trajectory distinct from its twin Voyager 1, approach this boundary from a different region of the heliosphere, revealing new and unexpected variations in its structure. What Voyager 2 detected wasn't just a simple change in environment, it was a turbulent transitional zone far more complex than scientists previously imagined. The spacecraft's plasma wave instrument picked up a dramatic rise in plasma density, an indicator that it had crossed into a region dominated by interstellar material rather than solar emissions. This rise didn't occur in a gradual slope as some had predicted, but instead in discrete jumps and pulses. It suggested that the edge of the heliosphere might not be a smooth, spherical shell, but rather a porous, shifting boundary with fingers and folds, possibly shaped by magnetic fields or pressure differences from the galaxy beyond. This was a revelation that challenged long-held assumptions about the nature of the Sun's outermost influence. In addition to the plasma density, Voyager 2's cosmic ray detectors recorded an uptick in galactic cosmic rays high-energy particles originating from beyond the Milky Way. These particles, previously repelled or deflected by the solar wind, now surged through, indicating that Voyager 2 had indeed left the solar wind's protective bubble. At the same time, the solar energetic particles decreased, confirming that the spacecraft had entered a realm where the sun's direct energy no longer dominates. But what made these detections truly extraordinary was that they were not mirror images of those detected by Voyager 1. Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause at a different latitude and location, and the asymmetries revealed deep irregularities in the structure of the the heliosphere itself. These findings point to a dynamic, possibly rippling edge to the solar system. Unlike the smooth, clean lines in many astronomical models, Voyager 2 showed that this boundary is alive, fluctuating with solar activity, bent and twisted by interstellar magnetic forces. One of the most puzzling aspects detected was the presence of magnetic field lines that didn't align cleanly with either the solar or interstellar directions. This suggested a tangled interaction between the sun's magnetic field and that of the galaxy, a chaotic magnetic braid rather than a neat handshake. These braided fields may trap energetic particles or funnel them in unpredictable ways potentially affecting not just spacecraft, but future interstellar probes. Voyager 2 also recorded a sharp change in temperature and particle composition. The plasma it encountered beyond the heliopause was cooler and denser, but surprisingly more organized than expected. But Voyager 2 found streams of plasma that, while denser, flowed in smoother and more coherent patterns. This points to a more structured interstellar medium than many had anticipated. Such structure could have profound implications for understanding how solar systems like ours interact with the broader galactic environment. Perhaps even more tantalizing was the spacecraft's detection of anomalous low-frequency radio waves emanating from beyond the heliopause. These signals are not well understood, but they hint at processes occurring in the vast void between stars possibly interactions between interstellar plasma and galactic magnetic fields, or even emissions from other cosmic structures. Their presence, faint but persistent, implies that the space between stars is not a simple vacuum, but an active medium with its own dynamics and mysteries. Voyager 2's instruments, despite their age, were able to capture and transmit these signatures, offering a window into phenomena that Earth-based telescopes could never observe directly. The consequences of these discoveries are enormous. For one, they reshape our understanding of the heliosphere itself. The solar wind, 
far from creating a neat bubble-like shield, appears to carve out a distorted, shifting envelope whose shape and structure are determined not only by solar activity, but also by the pressures and fields of the interstellar medium. This means that the sun's influence does not end uniformly in all directions. It is buffeted, compressed, and reshaped by the galaxy. This has implications for how cosmic rays enter the solar system, for the protection offered to planets like Earth, and even for the conditions faced by future space travelers venturing beyond the outer planets. The nature of this boundary region may also help explain certain astronomical phenomena observed in other star systems. Many stars appear to have surrounding clouds or zones where their stellar winds interact with the interstellar medium. Understanding the heliopause helps us decode similar boundaries around other stars. If our heliosphere is lopsided and turbulent, perhaps theirs are too. Changing over time with the star's activity cycles and altering the cosmic ray exposure of any orbiting planets. In essence, what Voyager 2 detected could help inform the broader search for habitable environments beyond our solar system. There is also the mystery of the interstellar medium itself. Voyager 2's data showed that this space is not empty but filled with a faint plasma, threaded by magnetic fields and stirred by cosmic forces. The densities and flows it measured suggest that the interstellar medium could have regions of pressure, current, and motion that were previously undetectable. It may act as a slow-moving sea through which stars like our sun drift, subtly influencing their outer environments. The nature of this material, its composition, and its behavior are now open scientific questions, questions that only a handful of missions like Voyager can begin to answer. Moreover, Voyager 2's journey reveals how much more there is to explore beyond the solar system. It has now become a pioneer not just of space exploration, but of a new kind of science, the direct investigation of interstellar space. Its discoveries mark the first steps into a realm that no spacecraft has ever navigated before. The fact that it is still functioning, still sending back data from over 12 billion miles away, makes its observations all the more remarkable. With every signal, it stretches the limits of what humanity can perceive and understand, reaching into regions that were once purely theoretical. As Voyager 2 continues to travel outward, it will offer further insights into how the sun's influence fades and how the galaxy's own forces rise to dominance. The subtle changes it detects in particle flows field strength and radiation can help build a map of the boundary between stellar systems and the galactic environment. These measurements will also help refine future missions intended to explore the interstellar medium more thoroughly, potentially leading to new spacecraft designed specifically for this vast, mysterious realm. But perhaps the most profound implication of Voyager 2's detection lies in what it tells us about the limits of our knowledge. For decades, scientists debated the nature of the heliopause, its location, its structure, its behavior. And yet, it took a 40-year-old spacecraft built with 1970s technology to pierce the darkness and provide the first clear in situ data. This is a humbling reminder that while theoretical models and simulations are invaluable, there is no substitute for direct observation. Voyager 2 has shown that the edge of the solar system is not a fixed boundary, but a dynamic frontier, constantly shaped by invisible forces. It has also shown that interstellar space is not beyond reach. The data Voyager 2 sends back takes more than 16 hours to travel to Earth, moving at the speed of light, and yet it arrives, consistently, clearly, and carrying the imprint of a region untouched by any other human instrument. This region is where the sun's domain ends and the Milky Way begins, where the known yields to the unknown. The implications of its findings ripple outward, influencing how we think about solar systems, how we understand cosmic environments, and how we plan humanity's next great journeys. Voyager 2's recent detections are not the end of its mission. They are the beginning of a new phase in space exploration. For now, it floats in the Great Black Sea, a single silent witness to the slow-motion interplay of solar and galactic forces. It listens to the plasma waves, counts the particles, traces the magnetic lines, and sends it all back to us. Each byte of data a message from the edge of everything we've ever known. As it travels further into the interstellar void, it continues to teach us that space is not empty, that the universe is far more active and structured than we imagined, and that the journey beyond the stars has already begun. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2's edge detection? What do you expect? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.